Hi everybody, I'm Miss Samantha from the library. Welcome back to my office. I'm here with another craft activity for you. Today we are going to be making woven coasters out of yarn. Uh, if you haven't already, stop by one of our locations and pick up your materials. This is our December Take and Make craft. I'm going to go over those materials real, real quick with you right now. So first thing you should find is a cardboard loom. This is just a rectangle of cardboard, about five inches by 11, I think, uh, with notches cut in the two short sides of the rectangle. You should find one yarn needle. Uh, mine's metal, but yours should be plastic, uh, and a small ball of yarn. Uh, I'm gonna switch cameras here and then we'll get started. And here is the coaster one more time that we're going to be making today. Uh, this is something you could give as a gift, make something for your mom maybe. Uh, with the holidays coming up, this is a nice, easy, cheap project that comes out looking really cool. So we're going to start with our loom. We're going to unravel some of our yarn. We're gonna start by putting our yarn through this first notch up here at the top. You're going to want to leave some tail on the back as well. We'll leave that in later. Now we're going to stretch the yarn down here to the next notch and up the back and around to the second notch. And we're just going to do that all the way across the loom. Okay, I have wrapped the loom with the yarn. This is what's called the warp of your weaving. I'm going to cut my yarn here, leaving another tail. And I'm going to unravel a nice long piece of yarn. my needle. Okay, so now we're going to start weaving. So you're going to start about three and a half, four inches up from the bottom of your loom. And you're just going to start with a simple under over, under over pattern. Pulling that yarn through. And again, you want to leave a bit of a tail at the beginning. There we go. Sometimes things can get a little tangled up, but just get it all straightened out and then keep going. All right, so now I'm going to go back the other way from right to left, doing the opposite of what I did before. So I'm gonna go over, under, over, under. Now 
Now at this point, you don't want to pull really tight because what's going to happen if you pull too tight is your warp is going to get pulled in. You see that? That's going to create an hourglass shape. We don't want that. We want a nice little square. So we're going to make sure that we keep the tension loose. And we're just going to use our fingers to push that down to meet the first one. And we're going to continue just like that, back and forth. Okay, so fast forward a little bit. I've gotten to a point where I'm pretty much out of this piece of yarn, so I'm gonna pull that off my needle. And I'm just going to leave that for now. As I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be weaving in all the loose ends at the end. So I'm not gonna tie anything off or anything like that at this point. I'm going to get my new piece of yarn for my needle, maybe, okay, yep. And I'm just going to begin again, following the same pattern I did earlier. And this is where ends can get a little tangled up, so just try to keep everything in its place. There we go. And again, you're going to want a nice long tail, so we're just going to leave that be. And keep going. Alright, so I've made it to the end of my coaster and I've started to weave in my ends and I want to show you that real quick. So over here I have two tails where I stopped one piece of yarn and started another one. I'm just going to start by gently tying a little knot there just to help keep everything in place. I am then going to string one of the tails through my yarn needle. And I'm going to pick a spot close to the start of it and I'm just going to go through coaster. 
this is going to be the back of our coaster once we take it off the loom. So you don't really have to worry about what it looks like. I'm going to hold my knot still so I don't pull the whole thing in. And I'm just going to gently tug that tail through here. You can shift everything back into place. And then once you do that for all your tails, you can just snip them off short. So I'm going to finish up with my tails and come back for the, the last part, taking your weaving off of the loom. Okay, I finished tucking in my tails. Now I'm ready to remove my coaster. Now, something you should remember is that we wrapped this warp all the way around. So you can actually make a second coaster on the back of this before removing them. For the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and remove mine now. So, you have to be careful with this part because you don't want it to unravel on you as you go. But you're going to carefully start to snip the warp off of the loom. And now, taking two at a time, you're going to tie the warp into knots. This will secure your coaster and give it a cute little fringe. So we're going to do that all the way across. Then we're going to snip the other side and do the same thing. All right, I finished tying off my ends. I trimmed it a little bit to create a nice little fringe. And there is my finished coaster. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check back for more videos, and we hope to see you at the library soon. Bye-bye.